Life Scouts pet ownership badge. I've been hanging on to this for like six months. Remember those past six months that I've been trying to get you to, you know, put more kitties in videos? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so it's new. Uh, Christmas was nice. We've stayed here. Didn't travel anywhere. Didn't really do anything. And it was awesome. I haven't really spent much more than a long weekend at home in a long time. So it was really nice just to have two weeks to just sort of hang out and do nothing and cook and hang out with the dog who's down here somewhere being a menace. This is my Lucy. She's getting big. Yes, she is. She's getting wiggly too. Kisses, yes, kisses. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. So Lucy had a fun Christmas too, or at least I hope so. Uh, she got a new toy for me. Yay! And back to the paper. And she got new um, pajamas from my mom, which she looks super cute in, even though she hates wearing them. And I have matching pajamas <laughs> from my mom, which are just super comfy and awesome. Thank you for the update on Gazzy. Let me know when the treatment starts, um, and I will help out, and I, I hope she gets better. That's just awful. So yes, about New Year's resolutions. I don't have any. I haven't made any since I was a kid, and I realized I would always forget about them within a week of making them, so I don't really make them anymore. <laughs> Lucy met Moo, and... Miss P wisely did not make an appearance. She spent the entire time underneath the bed, which is probably for the best. She wants to be friends so bad, she doesn't understand. She didn't, didn't understand why we was backing up. He's very curious about her. He just doesn't quite know. Boy. Excuse me. <laughs> Lucy just loves everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a person or an animal. She wants to be friends with you. And if you don't want to be friends with her, She'll bark at you, which most cats do not like, as it turns out. And some people don't like. What's your problem? What? This is not how you get attention. So uh, this was mildly interesting. Michael and I were out doing an errand uh, Saturday, and as we came back, uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, bright sunny day, we saw a coyote running down the street, maybe about a 10 minute walk from our place. And this was a residential street. And yeah, said coyote just looked kind of happy to be there. Dum -dum -dum. I'm going to go do stuff. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a little disconcerting for me because I'm not used to seeing them in the daylight. And it made me real nervous because we have this tiny dog now and we've heard all these stories about coyotes eating pets and so forth, which is true. On Wikipedia, I was reading about them today, um, apparently, um, according to a study done in Claremont, uh, apparently coyotes get most of their food over winter months from um, domestic dogs and cats, as in they eat them. Yeah. So I went out and I bought some bear mace, so I'm going to now carry that on <laughs> my walks with Lucy. So I guess that's my New Year's resolution. Um, keeping my dog from being eaten by coyotes. <laughs> my sweet little cupcake, yes. Mm, sweet little cupcake who likes eating. Who likes eating her pajamas. <laughs> Say bye, Lucy. Bye. Bye.